Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lollipop chart using Python visuals in Power BI. This visual is to compare year on year revenue and to see whether my current revenue is trending positive or declining. A very small piece of code and I'll be going to explain you step by step. Please watch the video till end and understand the concept. Now let me jump into the new page to create this visual. So there I have already added some slicers so that I can filter the data. Without filtering you can't compare year on year revenue because it's time intelligence. Let me add a python visual. In this I am going to add three fields. One is branch then because I want to compare branch revenue against current year and previous year. So let me add branch as a categorical label. Then I wanted to add the total revenue which is the contextually current revenue and then finally last year revenue to have a comparison. If you look at there is a piece of information is already there data frame is defined as data set because it's a variable but I didn't want to use data set I want to use much simpler variable so let me show you how to create it. Let me remove this entire part not really required and then first I need to import the library. So import matplotlib pyplot as plt to create visualization. Matplotlib is common uh, library. df equal dataset so that now I can use df instead of dataset in entire code. The next thing is I need to sort my data by total revenue and descending order. So s data that is sorted data equal data frame sort values by total revenue so that the data will be sorted accordingly. Next I need to index my data so that all the rows are considered. So I data that is index data equal. I'm using a function range and starting from zero because in any programming language indexing will happen from zero. So from zero till the end of the data frame df dot index and index so that the data will be indexed. Now I have my data ready. I need to make the lines first so that the lines will have the length of the value. So for that or like plt dot h lines and then I need to give the where from I need to give the value from the index data. So I data. I have minimum and maximum because in this I'm comparing two values total revenue and last year revenue. So x min equal from the sort, uh, sorted data which is nothing but last year revenue because I want to consider my minimum value is last year revenue. Then I have x max which is again from the sorted data that is nothing but my total revenue. I want to give a color to it. So the color equal tomato and I want to have a line width of four points so that it is a much visible line will be created. So now I want to have the one side total revenue or current revenue and the one side last year revenue. For that I need to create a scatter plot. So plt scatter. The data should come from the sorted data which is total revenue because I want to show first total revenue which is coming from index data. And then I want to have a label saying that current year revenue label can be anything. It need not be the column name or a field name. And I want to give a color since it is current revenue. I want to give green color. Then I want to give a size of 120 points so that it is much visible. Let me copy this line and paste in the down. Next data point will be last year revenue and also the label will be last year color will be red. You can give any color as you wish and then I need to add a legend. Since I've added the labels here the legend will be automatically created. So plt dot legend. I need to create a, a title for this chart. So plt dot title basically title then year on year revenue comparison
then I need to create uh, that white ticks so that all the branch names are appearing. So the white ticks are coming from the index data and the column is coming from the sorted data which is nothing but branch. And finally, I need to have x-axis labels. So plt dot um, x label that is uh, I can say revenue values and then plt dot y label that is branch and I think that is all we need to have so plt dot show and now if I run this piece of code you can see the entire code I will just give this uh, code in the uh, comment section as a link so that you can download this code you can apply on any of the data sets you are using simply you need to change the names of uh, the variables or the fields you have taken let me run the code and see the visual is ready currently you are not able to see this the reason you have not selected any slicer now let me select 2018 which has a previous year also then you can see the comparison and if you look at the green value in the right side and red value in the left side. So what is green? Current year. What is uh, what do you call uh, red is previous year. I think I have written label. It should be not label. It should be current year revenue and it should be current year last year revenue. And if I run, I mean you can see the legend properly. Now if I look at in case of Hyderabad 2, my revenue is trending very much positive. The reason the value is towards right. Whereas in case of any other branch, for example, Nagpur, the value is trending negative because current year revenue is on the left side. So in this case, uh, it is a negative value so that we can take the decision accordingly. So that is how a lollipop chart can be created. And I hope you like this video and you have any questions, please mention the comment section so that I can help you. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and keep watching and keep sharing. Thank you very much.